Good morning, friends. Welcome to Baby Time at the Pflugerville Public Library. Today, we're going to talk all about the letter N. But first, let's start with our beginning song. Remember, we use some sign language with this song. We use more, together, happy, and friends. We're going to sing it twice, so let's begin. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! So let's talk about the letter N. What kinds of things start with the letter N? Well, we have numbers and nests and narwhals. This is my friend Nessie the narwhal. Narwhals live in the sea and they have fun horns that's not really a horn but really a tooth. So today we're going to hear all about things that start with the letter N. Our story today is Busy, Busy Little Chick by Janice Harrington and pictures by Brian Pinkney. And we're reading this with the kind permission of Macmillan's Kids Press. Mama Nososo's chicks shivered in their cold, damp nest. Pio, pio, mama, pio, pio. We're chilly cold. Our tummies are chilly cold. Our feet are chilly cold. We're chilly cold all over. And little chick said, Mama, my bottom is chilly cold. Pio, pio, pio. Mama Nososo spread her wings around her children. Don't worry, my babies, she said. When morning comes, we will build an ilombe, a new house. It will have a grass roof, mud walls, and a cozy nest inside. The wind will not blow in. The rain will not drip in, and the dark night will not bother us. Morning came. Mama Nososo tumbled her babies from the nest. It was time to build their new ilombe. She stepped out and her chicks, pio, pio, peeped right behind her. As she walked, she searched for leaves and twigs to build the nest for their new house. She stepped along. Qua, 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 until she saw crunchy, munchy, sweet, meaty, big, fat worms. Brrk, brrk, clucked Mama Nososo. We will work tomorrow. Today we will peck and gobble big, fat worms. But busy, busy little chick did not peck worms. He gathered twigs, dee, 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 and he picked leaves, dee, 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 until his pile grew taller than a pepper bush. In the evening, Mama Nososo and her chicks squeezed into their old nest. The wind blew and spilled cool air beneath their feathers. The night fell and left damp dew atop their beaks. Mama Nososo's babies shivered and shook. Pio, pio, Mama, pio, pio, we're cold. Our feathers are cold, our feet are cold, we're cold all over. But little Chick said nothing at all. He had already fallen asleep, snoring. Pia, Mama Nososo wrapped her wings around her babies. Don't worry, my children. When morning comes, we will build a new house. You won't be cold again. When the sun came up, Mama Nososo swept her chicks from the nest and together they strutted off. Quack, 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 to gather leaves and twigs and also grass for the roof of their new ilombe. But just then, Mama Nososo saw crunchy, munchy, jumpy, jumpy, crickety, crackety, crickets. Prick, 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 cluck, Mama Nososo. We will work tomorrow. Today we will munch crickety, cracky crickets. But busy, busy little chick plucked and plucked long, thin grass. Tee, tee, tee. At last he built a pile as round as a ripe melon. That night, 
Mama Nososo settled into her nest and tucked her head beneath her wing. Her baby snuggled close against her soft, soft feathers, but still they could not sleep. The wind swooshed and made them cold. The damp air clung to their feathers. The dark, dark surrounded their nest and made them shiver. Her babies huddled beneath her wings. Pio, 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 they cried. Don't worry, said Mama Nasoso. Tomorrow we will build a new Ilombe. It will be warm and dry and as large as my wings spread wide, wide. But little Chick said nothing at all. He had fallen asleep, snoring pia, pia, pia. In the morning, Mama Nososo and her babies left their nest to gather leaves and twigs and grass, and also mud for the walls of their new elombe. The chicks stepped, qua qua qua, and strutted, qua qua qua, until Mama squawked, bala bala, look look, round brown, toasty roasty, picky pecky corn. Brock brock, said Mama Nososo, we will work tomorrow. Today we will peck and gobble this tasty corn. But busy, busy little chick did not peck for corn. Instead, tee, 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 he scratched and scraped up gooey mud all by himself. All by himself, he piled the mud beside the grass, beside the twigs and leaves. He scraped and piled all day long. Mama Nasoso gathered her babies and settled them into the old nest. The wind slithered in. The damp oozed in. The dark coiled around the sides of the nest and made them shiver. Mama, mama, her babies cried. We want a new Ilombe. Don't worry, my poor babies, clucked Mama Nasoso. Tomorrow we will build a new Ilombe. Tomorrow we will have a new house. Little Chick said nothing. He was tired, tired, tired. Pia, pia. The next morning, Mama Nasoso woke up in the old nest. Her feathers were ruffled and damp. She was cold and stiff and the nest was empty. Mama Nasoso searched for her babies until she heard, Pio, 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 Mama, Pio, Pio. Beside a tall tree, she saw a beautiful new Elombe. It was as large as her wings spread wide, wide. It had a smooth mud walls, a green grassy roof, a clean leafy nest, and baby chicks running in and out. Mama, mama, they cheeped, our new house. It's not cold, it's not wet, and it's not dark and scary. The new Ilombe was just right. It looks per per perfect, clucked mama. But who built such a lovely Ilombe? Who gathered the twigs and the leaves and the grass and the mud? It was little chick, the other chicks said. Pruck, 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 mama, Nisoso clucked with pride. The little chick said nothing at all. He was busy, busy chasing cricky, cracky crickets all by himself. The end. All right, one of the animals that lives in a nest is a duck. So let's sing a duck song. All right, put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in front, put your elbows in back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. You want to sing it again? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked that one. All right, friends, our sign language word for today is nest. Now, to make the nest sign, you're gonna make a sign for a bird, and then nest. Like two hands making a nest. Nest. All right. Are you ready for our flannel story? How many ducks do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five ducks and a mama duck. So that makes six ducks. Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Other ducks said quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. One, two, three, four. 
Four little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only three little ducks came back. How many ducks? One, two, three left. Three little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only two little ducks came back. How many ducks were left? One, two. Two little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went out to play over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. No little ducks came back. Sad mother duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all five of her ducks came quacking back. Yay, little ducks came back where they belong. All right, friends, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for exploring the letter N with me. Now, maybe after this, you can go around your house with your grown up and look for things that start with the letter N. But let's say goodbye first. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye, friends.